Today is day 32 and we're starting a new course called Intermediate Data Modeling in Power BI. On the previous four live streams, we learned all about data model and building either star schema or snowflake schema data model. So without further ado, let's get back to learning. My name is Martin and I'll be your guide through this part of the course. First, we'll cover creating date dimensions and defining relationships between tables. Date dimensions give us a built-in calendar which helps minimize complex data operations. For example, matching the company's fiscal year with the calendar year or allowing users to slice by quarter or week. Time dimensions are similar to day dimensions but focus on time of the day. They are less common but can also be useful, particularly if your industry needs to track a time of day component. There are three common methods for creating a date dimension. The first is hosting a date dimension in the data warehouse. This allows you to easily update and share date dimensions with other services. However, this requires direct access to a database. Alternatively, you could store data dimension in a text file. Power BI support for text files is great, but the downside is that you'll need to create and update this text file manually. Thirdly, you can create a data dimension using DAX. This allows for full customization over what will be in the data dimension and doesn't require external preparations. The downside is that you'll need to know how to write custom code, but once you've got the hang of it, this is a very powerful option. The starting point for creating a date dimension with DAX is the calendar function, which creates a series of dates. In this example, calendar creates a range of all dates between January 1st, 1950 and today in a field called date. Using select column,